Hello friends, my name is Bedros Koulian. Welcome to The Empire Show here in beautiful Southern California. Lovely day out here as we enter fall. But the reason for this show is because I've got five very amazing fitness experts from literally all over the United States here at our headquarters in Southern California. And today we're gonna to kind of learn about them, see exactly what makes them the elite personal trainers and fitness coaches in their communities and of course, why they got in the industry in the first place. So we're gonna start off with our man right here, Alex. Introduce yourself. Thank you so much, Luke. Thank you for the invitation. Thank you for having us. My name is Alex Zuniga. I'm the owner of Elite Spartans. We are located in San Jose, California, Silicon Valley, uh, and we specialize in personal training. We do classes and also uh, personal training, but we specialize in uh, high-end clients, pretty much who have like a very special needs. Um, and that's pretty much what we do. Uh, classes as well. We do boot camp classes and small group training. Uh, awesome. That's it. Hi, my name is Michelle Bauer. I am from um, Doylestown, Pennsylvania. My own uh, Next Level Fitness in Doylestown and Chalfont, Pennsylvania. I've been voted the top business, women business owner in the Philadelphia area. Um, we specialize in group fitness, boot camp, and um, helping people live a healthy, fit lifestyle. Very good. Welcome. Thank you, Pedros. My name is Ryan Goldstein. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio, and I own a Lynchburg's Fit Body Boot Camp. And we really specialize in delivering real results with people and meet them where they're at. I think having a fully comprehensive program of support, motivation, and accountability is what a lot of people have been missing, and what we really specialize in delivering results. Steve Eckert from PPC Personal Training Bootcamp and Boxing in Nanuet and Suffer, New York. We were voted America's top trainer at the Fitness, Fitness Business Summit in San Diego, California. And in our area, in our county, of over 350,000 people, we literally have more reviews, more weight loss testimonials, more weight loss results, more success stories, more case studies than not only any other gym in the area, but every other gym in the area combined. We have more than all of them combined in the entire county. My name is Murray. Uh, I own uh, One Love Fit Club in Chino and Walnut, California. Um, we do fitness, kickboxing, and personal training. Uh, we help majority of um, mainstream demographic uh, population, uh, a lot of uh, house uh, moms and families, uh, uh, just kind of help general fitness and weight loss. All right, cool. So, Nare, we're going to start with you, so you can just keep the mic right there. Um, I, I don't need it because of cameras that are recording here, I just need to capture your guys' voice. We're going to start with you. So, you, you do something very unique in the personal training services that you offer. Southern California is very competitive, yet you've got two locations and you're opening up a third location. That only happens when you're able to show clients amazing results. What leads you and your coaches to delivering great results for your clients? Uh, well, one thing is the staff and family that we do hire, uh, it's, uh, we care, we really care about our clients, we care about the results and uh, you know their progress. And so with each new member that we do bring on board, uh, whether they're a trainer or a sales or a Accountability coach, they um, actually care about the uh, progress and results of the clients. That's great. So you've got personal trainers, coaches who actually care, and I know you well enough. And I'm just kind of loading the question up here, but I know you well enough where you're not just looking for education, skill levels, experience, and certification. They have to have the personality that shows that they care above and beyond what the average personal trainer does, right? Right. And I'm, I'm curious, what kind of um, feedback you get from your clients who have worked with your trainers? Well, they, they say, oh, you know what, um, you know, this trainer, you know, he, he, he really took the time to explain it and he really understood like what I was feeling and what I was going through and, you know, they, they, they're not here to, you know, destroy you or give you the, the hardest work that you've ever been through. They actually go at your pace and actually can identify what level you're comfortable with working out at. Love that. Why don't you pass the mic to uh, right next door there to Steve. Steve, so what part of New York are you in? We're in Rockland County, Nanuet, and Suffern. Rockland County, and again, two locations, yep. right? You have a very intense personality, and I'm curious, how do your clients first feel when they meet you and see your intense personality and then interact with your coaches? Are they very much the same way? I've never met your coaches, I've only met you. They are in their own way. Their own way. They, we, our clients call themselves peak freaks because they come in. They come in. They walk in as a lamb and they walk out of our doors like a lion. That's how we treat them. When someone walks through our front doors, they see our core values lined up right away. 
and the first core value is, I'll give the editor version, is, is bring the effing fire every second of every second. So when you walk through the door, if that's the first thing you see, and you make it past that barrier of entry, we know that you're probably gonna be a good fit. If you see that, you might say, this might not be the place for me, and you're gonna turn around, and that's fine, we're fine with that. We wanna attract those freaks, because that's what, that's, what we, that's what we're looking for. People who couldn't get results somewhere, anywhere else in the world, they tried every program, every diet, every nutrition, every gym, personal training, couldn't get results anywhere else, but mainly they couldn't get results because they couldn't stick with the program, because they felt like maybe they didn't fit in in those commercial gyms. They didn't fit in because they were different. They were a freak. They were crazy. And there's more of us out there than you think. And we're taking over. The invasion's coming. We're going to be ready. I'm building up a fucking army, and we're going to be ready for that invasion. I love that. And that's actually why you qualify people so well. If they can see that very first core value and go, you know what, I can look past this and go in and in fact, I believe that I jive with this core value, then they're going to be a good fit. Exactly. If they walk by that and not offended by that or they can relate to that, we say most, some people will hate, will hate, but most can relate. They can relate to us. And if they get by that, we know they can relate to us. And the majority of people out there actually can because we all have that darkness and those demons inside of us that we need to unleash. So they come into our gym, that's their escape. That's their escape from the real world where they can actually come in and fit in and be themselves and not be who they need to be at their corporate job and this this robot that they're forced to be from the society. They can come in here and it's it's the, it's the handcuffs are off and they could just be free. We just let them loose and unleash the freaking beast. Love that. Just give me one specific number. The number I'm looking for is when we were on the break earlier, you talked about the number of clients that you've helped lose 50 pounds or more. How many clients is that? 50 pounds or more is in the hundreds. I'd say 50 pounds would be over 300. Just so you all know watching this, like. The big box commercial gyms, you won't find a single commercial gym that in their lifetime have helped people lose more than probably 20 pounds, and you won't probably find more than 10 clients who have done that. So the fact that hundreds of people have lost 50 pounds or more, and by the way, every single, all five of them here can say that same thing, speaks volumes in what they do. This isn't access to a gym. These guys and gals here, they do literally coaching, personal training, motivation, mindset to get you the outcome that you want. So let's pass the mic along to Ryan. Ryan, you're in a very unique part of Cleveland, right? Yeah. And, uh, you know, Ohio is not necessarily known as the fitness capital of the world. I imagine ranking fittest to fattest cities. Um, where do you think it falls in the fittest to fattest cities in the nation? I think that, you know, we have a unique demographic and where, you know, gym is located and crossing paths in different socioeconomic spots. We see a wide range of you know people in varying ages, shapes, and sizes, and fitness levels. But we're able to meet them where they're at and give them an access point that they're comfortable walking through the door. And so, again, not being the fitness capital of the world, you have done a great job delivering amazing results to your clients. And literally, your clients come from all, all walks of life. What is the common denominator in the results that you deliver? I think the common denominator is that people are getting the support and having the resources and tools with our program that they might be lacking elsewhere. And that's really getting to the support, it's getting into the nutrition, it's getting into the mindset and perspective, and understanding that we are always going to be looking at people first. People always. People first. I love that mindset. That's perfect. All right, let's pass it. Let's pass the mic along here. All right, Michelle, I'm curious. Big box gyms. You've obviously been in the fitness industry for a while, right? I have most of years. us. Yeah. Okay. 25 years. Why do big box gyms not deliver the type of results that you all do up here consistently with your clients? Um, probably because they don't know your name when you walk in the door. Um, they don't mm -hmm. care about you, and they don't care about your results. They don't care if you show up or not. In fact, statistics show that 89% of gym members stop showing up after 90 days, but they keep paying their dues, hoping that one day they'll go in and work out. When in reality, what happens after just one day when a client doesn't show up at any one of your locations? Yeah, they get a phone call or a text. They get a phone call or a text, or exactly. Message, Facebook message. Yeah. yeah. We follow up, whereas the big box gym would rather you not come in so that they can keep selling more memberships and not breaking down the equipment through use. So I'm curious, you're in Philadelphia? Outside, suburb, yeah. Just outside of Philly. Got it. And I imagine it's pretty competitive where you are. There's other gyms, etc. There are. Yeah, you just got an amazing award as Female Entrepreneur of the Year, mm -hmm. right? Small business owner. And Small Business Owner of the Year. Well. I'm curious, the results that you're able to deliver through fat loss, fitness, positive mindset to your clients, with all that competition out there, what made you so unique and different? I think it's the community that we build. Um, when you join our gym, you join a family, you join a community, um, and people stick with it because they feel like they're part of something. And we also do a lot of charity and a lot of give back to the community. So we just did a huge fundraiser on Saturday, we raised over $25,000 for wow. the LLS. 
Um, and people like being a part of that, and people feel like they're getting something, giving back along with getting something with every every workout. That's awesome. So it's not that just that, hey, here's access to exercise programs and coaches, because technically you can go on YouTube and watch workout programs and do follow along. But it's the community that you've built where people feel like I belong to this. Absolutely. And when they feel like they belong, they give more effort, they stick to the program, they help one another out, we get results. Yep. That's fantastic. So when they walk in, there's someone right away to greet you that is a member and oh, takes them yeah. under their wing and yeah. So it's almost like a sponsorship program. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I'm curious if you can just estimate, I know you don't have the number written down anywhere, but if you can estimate the number of pounds that you've helped clients lose over 25 years of servicing them, what do you think it would be? Like would wow. it be over 20,000 pounds, you think? Much more, much more, much more. Right? Yeah, I mean, you're figuring over a thousand people we've helped lose right. 20 pounds or more. So, yeah, huh. yeah, yeah, probably close to a hundred thousand pounds. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, when That's you try and get your mind around that a hundred thousand pounds of weight loss, like I like, I challenge any big box gym to show us those kind of metrics. And when I think about the square footage that all of you have around here, they're all most under five thousand square feet. Like these are boutique personal training coaching gyms. This is fantastic. Pass the mic over to Alex. Alex, you're in a very competitive space of personal training and small group boot camp training, but you're in Silicon Valley. Like people have money in Silicon Valley, Correct. and they have many different options where fitness is concerned, yet you keep ranking as the top fitness and fat loss solution in that greater San Jose area. How do you do it? Well, it's very, uh... You're right about that. It's a very competitive market in uh, Silicon Valley. Uh, B. Uh, one of the things is similar to, to Michelle. Uh, number one, we care. Uh, we were ranked right now. Uh, we won Personal Trainer of the Year 2018. And it's because of the growth of the business, the growth of Elite Spartans. And the reason why number one is we care, right? Now, that may not be enough. Uh, we created this environment, this community where I would always uh, talk to my team uh, to try, try to create something very unique. This community, that be, as a community, we can keep growing, we can keep delivering results, we can keep uh, offering something unique, whether if it's another boutique uh, gym or it's another uh, bootcamp, another big box gym, uh, we can create that. Uh, we actually, it's very elite. We have high-end clients like uh, Amazon people, uh, VP marketing, uh, global marketing from Apple as well. We have that, but what if they are uh, just like a, any normal person or, or high end uh, executive? Uh, we care. We care. We we build that community. I always talk to my team to set about. I'm trying to create that Disneyland environment where yes. from the moment you walk in, from your front end, from even the parking lot, right? Sometimes we offer valet parking. Where right. We get so busy that we it's something unique and we continue delivering results, especially in weight loss. So here's here's the interesting thing that I'm hearing from all five of you and having known all five of you for a long time. You guys are located in different parts of the United States. The thing you guys have in common is your clients get amazing, tremendous results, number one. Number two, the common thread I'm hearing is we care. And number three is the experience that they get in your gyms with the coaches that you have and the service you deliver is unique, different than any other experience they can get anywhere else. And I think that speaks volumes to the leadership that you are, the vision that you have, and the high standards that you hold your team to. Um, so I'm going to kind of shift gears and ask a different question. And Alex, we'll start with you and work our way down. What has been your most challenge? Like describe without giving a name of your your most challenging client. What? How were they? What was the experience with him or her? Uh, with him, I won't say the name, but uh, it happened probably a few years ago. Uh, he kept uh, sabotaging himself. He was a very very uh, high executive from one of this uh, tech company. And then he kept just kept just sabotaging himself. Um, and was the self sabotage through nutrition, through not showing up? Through there's actually both. Well, number one, he thought that just by paying, uh, he was gonna get the results, mm -hmm. right? Even though we were working several times with him and coaching him about it, whether if it was the sleeping habits or eating habits, had a very high in social life as well. So it was very hard to. Uh, showing results. That's been one of the most uh, difficult clients that I remember just on top of my head. 
Gotcha, that's a really good example. So by the way, if you're a very high-end client and you've got money, and if you're an affluent person, guess what? You can't just pay your way to results. If you could, we would charge you 10 times more than we're charging you, I promise you that. But the reality is that in addition to paying, you have to come and sweat, even on the days that you don't feel like coming in and sweating and putting it out. And I can tell you when you walk out of their gyms, you're gonna be very grateful that you did put in the effort. So. Pass that mic along to Michelle. Michelle, I'm curious, your most challenging, difficult client that you were just like, Mama Mia, how do I get this person results? Um, it was it was a she. Um, they were actually in our six week program, a six week weight loss program transformation. And um, we couldn't figure it out. The food logs were coming in, we were trying the nutritional stuff, found out that they were lying on their food logs, which I think a lot of them do. Sure. Um, and the weight was not coming off. Um, and it was conversation after conversation and they promised they were doing everything right to coming down to actually a breakdown of just self-sabotage constant because they felt they weren't worth what they really wanted to be. They weren't worth losing mm -hmm. the weight that they thought, you know, that they needed to lose. Um, their self-worth was down. So it took a little bit of coaching and it took them, um, actually the whole staff came together and just building this person up and changing their mindset and making them feel valuable as a person. And the weight came off three weeks. Later, they dropped 12 pounds in three weeks. No, okay, isn't that funny? Zero pounds so, in, no, in the first three weeks and 12 pounds in the second three weeks. That's wow. amazing. Everybody thinks that if I just exercise and eat right, that I'm gonna lose weight, get fit, put on muscle. The truth is, there's so much self-worth and confidence issues that we might continue to self-sabotage, as Alex was saying, or to not feel like we're worthy of it, and therefore do things where we don't get the results when in the second half of the six week transformation program, when you guys were able to adjust her mindset, Once give her- identify identified the problem, right? right? Think, yeah. Now I'm curious, just so if someone watching this wants to go, well, I think I might have confidence or self-worth issues. How do I identify that I have confidence or self-worth issues? And then what would be the one thing I can do to fix it? I would say if you're sabotaging yourself in any way, um, it could be with food, it could be with exercise, it could be with sleep, um, it could be with, with time, yeah. really any kind of self-sabotage. Um, and then talking to it, admitting it with somebody and talking to it with someone that you have confidence in and that you feel comfortable with and moving forward from there, someone that can help you. Sure, you know, they say with alcoholism, like admitting it is admitting the first, it, yeah. right? When yeah. you admit it, it's the first step to recovery. It's no different than self-worth or lack of self-worth. When you admit that I think I have this self-sabotage issue because I don't feel confident and self-worthy, and you actually verbalize it and hear it out loud for the first time, you can talk through the problem. That's great advice. Ryan, I'm curious to hear who is, without dropping a name, uh, what was the challenge that you dealt with like that frustrated you as a coach because we all want to help so badly? No, absolutely. I think dealing with people that don't have time and if you can flip that for them and say, hey, I don't make the time and they make themselves a priority, outside of taking a look at you know the fixed mindset, well, this is just what it is or you know this is how it's gonna be, if we can take them to a growth mindset and say, hey, I'm worth it, I have a priority, I just need to make time because they'll make time for their kids, they'll make time as caretakers, professionally or personally, mm -hmm. and they don't make time for themselves saying that I'm not worthy, just as she was saying, but when you get on the airplane, you put that oxygen mask on first, so you can then help the people you care about, teaching them that they matter, and if they put that oxygen mask on first, they can continue to deliver and elevate the rest of their life. So I'm curious, let me ask you this. If a client sure. says, look, I, I, I don't have time to come in here four or five days a week, do you literally have the conversation with them and say, hey, look, just, just say, I don't wanna make the time. Like, yeah. how, how does that conversation go? If you reframe that and saying it's not a priority, it completely changes their mindset and their perspective. Because who would say, who would dare say it's not a priority, right? Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. If I told you I have to be here four times a week to get a million dollars, you'd be here six times a week. Right. If it's not a priority, they're not going to show up. Nailed it. Nailed Absolutely. it. Absolutely. All right. Pass that along to sure. Steve. Steve, I'm curious. I know you've got to have had some clients that you were just frustrated that you weren't able to deliver results for. What was the big hang up? What was the challenge? Well, it's not just one client in particular, but it's a common denominator that we've seen with literally thousands of people. And they, they, they have the saying that you can't out train a bad diet. The way I look at it as you can't out train a poor mindset, like your self limiting beliefs and it goes along with what everyone else is saying, it is up in your head. No matter what you're doing, you could eat right, you could you could train hard, if your head is fucked up, you're not gonna get to where you need to be. It all starts in your mindset. Everything, no matter what you're doing, success, fitness, your, your career, your family life, everything starts in your head. You can't achieve anything without that first. Mm -hmm. So 
we have that where they, they think they can't achieve it, they think they're not capable of doing it, and the main thing that we find is they think they don't deserve it, they don't deserve the results, they don't deserve the success, and that's, that's been literally thousands of people. And the way we combat that, that they are capable of doing it, is we have mostly homegrown trainers in our gym. So our trainers have come up through the system. So when that client is on the floor thinking that they're not capable or they don't deserve it or they're not worth it or they can't do it, and they have a trainer in their face, you know, encouraging them and telling, telling them not to quit on themselves again like they've been doing for their entire time, entire life, that trainer knows exactly what they're doing. They've been in their, in their shoes, they've been on that floor in their own same sweat and tears and blood and, and crying on the floor wanting to quit. They've been there, they know exactly what it's like, they know what it takes to get up off your ass off that floor, keep going, keep pushing forward, and to make shit happen, and then make it last forever. So they know what it takes to, because they've been there and done that. So that's how we combat that when this person who thinks they're just this average person that's living this ordinary life and think they're not capable of extraordinary things and success, we have those people in place who literally 80% of our trainers have come up through our system as members that have turned into coaches, that we turned to ass kicking coaches, the best. Our coaches have been coaches for only maybe, some of them a year, year and a half, two years. And guess what? They will outperform any trainer in the area that has exercise physiology degrees and been doing it for 20 years in all the other gym. It doesn't matter. They will blow them out of the fucking water in the results they're gonna give and the coaching they're gonna give and the encouragement they're gonna give because they've been there, they've done that, they've been through the system, they know what it takes to get there, and they're gonna lead the way by like the tip of the spear straight to the target. You know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of, 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 a, of a great story. Have you guys, uh, Tom Hanks played the character Sully? Right where the airplane had landed in the Hudson when the when the geese flew into the engines. Think about how many pilots and think about how many personal trainers are out there who are certified, have physiology degrees, exercise science. And it's not to say that if they have all this education, they're lousy trainers. But if they haven't been in the shoes, if they haven't walked a mile in the shoes, it's the equivalent of being in a flight simulator where now we're going to simulate both engines just broke down and you're at 35,000 feet, what would you do? Well, when you're in a flight simulator, you know that anything you do that it's wrong, you can still walk out the door of that flight simulator. When you're 35,000 feet up in the air, and then the engines blow because geese just flew right in, that's like where the rubber meets the road. That's like in the trenches, walking in the shoes, knowing I have to get these 200 souls safely landed, and, and, and I think that's the difference. It's such a unique differentiator for your gym, and actually for many of your gyms, where your coaches come from clients who worked their way up, got the results, didn't have the self-esteem, the self-worth, the confidence, became coaches and know what it takes to move the needle with the new clients, right? That's amazing, man. I'm glad you brought that up. And so, Nuri, I'm curious, what, what is that one client or two that, that just frustrated you and what was that situation like? Um, well, it's kind of like a combination of a, a, a personality type that most clients have. Uh, it's, it's excuse excuses, excuse makers, why why either they can't do the exercise or why they didn't get their off day workouts or why they didn't keep their food log. It's just one thing after another and it kind of goes down to bringing it back to, well, it's not your priority. And you know, you kind of have to bring them back and coach them on, uh, well, first of all, what did you come in here for? What are you holding to these appointments for? What are you investing your money in for? It's all for you. I mean, I'm here anyway, so, you know, that's kind of, um, you know, one of the common denominators that, you know, that make people have a successful family program. You know what, I think that's a really good point is whether the client comes in or not, we're there as coaches anyway. I think what makes a really good coach and personal training boot camp model so special is that we're willing to have the tough conversations from the heart with our clients, even if we risk hurting their feelings and losing their money, right? Losing their business because 99% of the time we have the breakthrough, we don't lose their business, we gain their confidence. And I, again, just don't see any big box gym offering that. I don't see anyone who's buying a follow along video to do at home. You know, I don't see anyone coming to the television and saying, hey, look, if you didn't turn on the DVD this night and follow along, what happens? And that's the unique differentiator is we care, you get into their mindset, you have the tough conversations, and at the end of the day, you deliver the results. And so I'm gonna put all five of you on the spot here before we sign off. Um, anyone who's watching this right now and all the different live broadcasts that we're doing across the nation, if they were to leave somewhere in the comment, they're like, if they're interested in one free week of workouts, like a group training or boot camp workout with you, would you guys honor that? Absolutely. Absolutely. Great. So if you guys are watching this right now and you live in any of the areas that they live in here from Southern California to, to, to Ohio to to New York, Philly, et cetera, 
just leave in the comment section one free week and they're going to reach out to you and they're going to offer you one free week of group training or personal training so you can experience what real coaching is, what real results is. And believe it or not, that one week will be the differentiating factor in you canceling your big box gym membership and committing, going all in on yourself and great coaches who are here to deliver results. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.